What are some of the innovative ways for students now, you know, as the cost of education continues to go up, it doesn't matter if you're taking a, uh, going to college in Alaska or anywhere in the country, it seems there's always, it's going one direction, doesn't go down much, mm -hmm. um, if at all. What are some of the innovative ways that you think are out there, be maybe federal aid or student loans, or w how are people dealing with this new challenge that's in front of them? I, we heard one thing today, for example, I, I was, I didn't I totally understand, but I, I became quickly educated about how when a parent saves all this money, and then it works against them to some degree when they're going to get the loan. And I didn't really uh, understand that, but I guess it meant that it's a, an asset of the parent, so therefore it works against them when they're trying to get a uh, Pell Grant and or a uh, subsidized loan. That, that's, how, how does it, that's correct. But, you know, I have to counsel parents who are in that situation that they've done all the right things. Right. And that if they have set money aside for... Um, their children to go on to college to go ahead and use those mm -hmm. in the early years, ensure that they're on track, their freshman and sophomore years. Oh, that's a, go a ahead good point. And, and use that money early. And then in the later years, when their, their child is um, actually advancing to uh, their junior or senior year, if they have exhausted those, then to go ahead and, and um, seek uh, federal loans at that time, mm -hmm. but, but not to not to be concerned about that, but to, to use that to their advantage. To make it part of the equation, make it in the front Absolutely. end and in the back end, look for loans or uh, aid or other types of, and then you actually know your kid's going to complete. That, that's <laughs> correct. That's correct. Um, they found their niche and they're, they're on track to a, a degree and hopefully the wages that are associated with that. Here's one issue we heard this morning from everybody there about higher education. We sat there with several other senators, other people from higher education. We heard this kind of common thread of financial literacy. Mm -hmm. How does someone who's just coming out of high school, or even if they're in the workplace now, how do they understand what their commitment will be in their costs? What, what are some of the things that, that you see, one, that we should be helping with students, but also what you're doing in your loan program, mm -hmm. which, you know, I, I, as I said at the intro to you at the meeting today, you know, I was back there some years ago uh, as a, I, thought it was a full-time, but it was a volunteer uh, working with you to help uh, the Student Loan Corporation be successful, and you've done a great job. And now, how do we make these students be successful mm -hmm. when they take on these obligations and understand the financial literacy or the financial obligation they'll have with it? Well, th that is a very important um, aspect of this, and one of the things that, that we've tried to do in um, Alaska is uh, we have a tool. It's called the Alaska Career Information System. It's an online tool that we've made available to free of charge to mm -hmm. public K-12 institutions. There's a, a middle school version of it and there's a high school version mm. of it. And it has a uh, tool called a reality check that allows students to, um, to, to look at the career fields that they're interested in, if they have uh, particular uh, hobbies that mm -hmm. might translate to a, a career or other aptitudes that they go ahead and, and look at this tool, it, it tells them what their income will be if they pursue it. It tells them um, what level of education that they'll need. And then it allows them to uh, look at the cost of their education and um, what their repayment might be. And so it allows them to tie together future wages, debt obligations, lifestyle, and um, hopefully gives them a broader picture. Um, the other thing that we have is uh, we provide tools for repayment calculators so that they can go in and they can uh, literally put in the amount of debt that by budgeting uh, through their cost of education, they can put in the amount that um, they expect to have and then it will tell them if you're repaying over 10 years, 15, 25 years, this is the um, amount your repayment your obligation. will be. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, uh, uh, we'll end on this, but I'll say this, that the more we can help young people understand their financial mm -hmm. obligation and what it means for example this again this debate we're in right now just the Stafford loans you know 3.4 percent versus 6.8 percent what does that mean in Alaska we estimate it's just shy of a thousand dollars over the term of the loan mm -hmm. nationally it's it varies but it's pretty close to that just having them understand everything they do to manage that cost of that insure that that uh, loan or their grant or at the end what kind of job are they going to get and what will it pay and does it make sense to have 
these two pieces add up or <laughs> work together, I think is a great tool. And I think that's a, a, a great option for people back in Alaska to use. We should replicate it and share it to everyone. Yeah. Very good.